hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are new on here this is cuisine du monde a channel where we excite your taste bud today i'm going to give you a quick recipe on how to fry your pork with a twist you can use this recipe for the family if you have guests coming over or you are throwing a party all right let's get right into it as you can see i have already washed and neatly cut my pork all i have to do right now is to season it so i'm going to go ahead and add in my mixed spices i have a video on how i made the mixed spices i'll leave the link in the description box below so you can check it out at any time i'll then go ahead and add in some curry powder and salt to taste give it a very good stir cover it and allow it to cook i'm not going to add in any water because the pork is going to produce its own stock and I'll be checking on it periodically to give it a stir to prevent it from burning until it's well cooked and done. At this point our pork is ready i'm going to set it aside but before i do that look at the stock the pork produced now you can use the stock for your chalo for your stew any other thing you prefer okay but i am going to use it for something that i'll be sharing with you in my next video so stick and stay around okay all right so i'm going to get my wok put it on fire and add in some oil all right I'll then add in some onion chunks to give the oil some flavor, which would be transferred to the pork when frying. I'm going to fry the onions till they are translucent or till I can perceive the smell. Then I add in my pork. Check on it every minute, give it some turns so it can be evenly cooked. Okay, then I'll allow it to fry till it is golden brown. I am not going to fry it to be dry i want the inside to be juicy but the outside to be crunchy a little crunchy So this is how I want it. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop out the pork, leaving the onions in there. And then I'll fry all the pork till it is all done. this is the last batch of the frying after everything has been scooped i'm going to toss the oil into my storage container because i'll be using the same wok for the stir fry and i won't be washing the pan because those caramelized things in the pan right there brings different flavor to the whole thing so i'm going to go ahead and add in my ginger and garlic paste and then add in my bell peppers and my chopped onions i'll then give it a very good stir till everything is well infused I'll then go ahead and add in my crushed pepper. Now, this is um, optional. You can choose to omit it if you can't take the heat. But if you are somebody who likes pepper like me or who likes spicy stuff, 
you can add in as much as you want even more I'll then add in some seasoning you can choose to add salt but I am using adobo I'll then give it a very good stir okay now our pork has already been seasoned well so it will be fair if we season our vegetables so it can be equally um, balanced when it comes to seasoning the last thing to do right now is to add in my fried pork and I am done guys that is it I'll then go ahead and fry till everything is well infused and incorporated that is it okay so you can serve this to your guests if you are throwing a party or you are attending a party that you have to take along something you can do this it is well presentable okay all right so this is the point where i ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and if you have subscribed thank you so much okay comment like share Let, okay share this recipe to your friends and loved ones out there let them also know what we are up to on this channel so we can all grow it together and always remember in a world where you can be anything be kind thank you thank you thank you all so much for watching till i see you all next in my video bye